is Building the Dogs. Building the Dogs is presented by Southern Illinois University and Marion Toyota. The official truck of Saluki basketball is the Toyota Tacoma. There are eight newcomers on the Saluki team, each making his own unique journey to get to Southern. Both Anthony Donzo and Stephen Verplanken Jr. explain their transfers to Southern and making the jump from Division II to Division I. So um, I had a pretty good amount of D1 schools like looking at me, but they never, none of them really offered or anything during AU, stuff like that. And then it was really between a couple schools and Lewis came in late and it was close to home and I felt like it would be a good fit for me at the time. I knew Division II wanted me and I had a couple of like low majors, uh, Division I's, flirted with a couple of mid majors. Uh, but nothing, never, someone, like, they never like, but it's like, here, we really want you. They were talking, they said I was, I was good enough, they, they was interested, but nothing really developed. And, you know, as a kid, that gives you insecurity sometimes. It's like, uh, I don't know, if I'm, I'm, I want to be a Division One player, but they're not recruiting me, what do I do, right? So I decided to take a second visit to Glenville, an overnight visit. And after that, like, me and Coach Cowboys were on the same page. He believed in me. I believe in him and I went there and like one of the best times of my life. The main thing that really stuck out for SIU was just how consistent they were and really just talking to me and I knew like if I went to this program that they would get me better 100% and it was just something that I really trusted these coaches like from day one right when I first talked to them. I really was interested just by everything they had to offer here. Uh, and just the way, I felt like me and Coach Brian just had a good relationship, like, he loves to grind, he was a grinder, he loves the hard work, putting in the extra work. I thought we shared a lot of those same values. And for me, it wasn't really about, oh, a location, this is a nice place, or this place has a beach. For me, it was somewhere where I can, like, be successful on the basketball court, academically, and a coaching staff that believes in me. And Coach Brian told me he believed in me, and that was really what sold it for me. So that's how I ended up at SIU. Here the standard is really high. Like every day they're gonna hold you accountable to that standard and it's not gonna be different. But that's what's gonna make you great, I think. That's what where greatness lies. And for me it was just like coming in, I knew it was gonna be hard. Like the the, the speed of the game is harder, physicality is harder, just the attention to detail and overall. If you wanna be good at this level, you gotta be good at all of that. You could see a jump in it, like physically, you could just see there's bigger, stronger guys, so it's more physical, everything like that. And then just going into the weights, going into workouts, like you could just, the intensity is really just, it's really different. And you really have to lock in on everything, but at the end of the day, that all gets you better, so it's good. I want to be the hardest worker, I'm going to spend the most hours in, and I feel like if I do that, listen to the coaching staff, that in the long picture, I'll, we can make some history here and we can win some championships. How it feels to be at the Division One level now? I still feel don't don't feel, really feel real. Like sometimes I wake up, it's like, oh, I really I'm really at my dream. Like, what's next now? Like, you know, like I always keep thinking ahead, keep think, chasing my goals. It does feel good to be here, but I don't want to want to be here. I want to like belong. Like I want to show I belong too. So that's where it's at for me. Division One's obviously the goal for any basketball player, and I thought like. Even out of high school, I felt like I could do it. I just was behind and I had to work hard. And eventually, like, I knew the hard work would pay off. So it did, and now I'm here and I'm ready to work hard. As COVID-19 continues to reshape college athletics this year, the Salukis discuss the team's schedule and they discuss the team's outlook. It's been challenging. I mean, I think for every level um, in college basketball, uh, obviously the pandemic hit right after our conference tournament in the Valley, right before the NCAA tournament. And usually that spring season is when you finish up your scheduling. And, you know, for us moving into this year, we had a lot of return games in terms of San Francisco, St. Louis, Murray State, um, SEMO. So we didn't have as many games as normally we would have to get. We obviously had to get an exempt tournament where we would be allowed to play three or four games in a short amount of time. And then we also had to get a couple more series 
in place. So that was really our focus heading into you know, this year in terms of our non-conference schedule. For us to continue to uh, build our stock and build our brand uh, so that we could be more attractive to playing high majors uh, and, home for, uh, and home and homes or even two for ones, uh, we got to continue to raise our net ranking as well consistently year after year. I think for us we always want to play a challenging non-conference schedule, a schedule that prepares us to win an NBC championship and also gives us an opportunity to get in that large bid. And, you know, we want to play the top teams in other leagues. And so to be able to play Tulsa, who won the American League, to be able to play Eastern Washington, who won the Big Sky League, uh, they were great for us. And those are the type of games that we're looking for consistently. So we're, we're just trying to give the best possible options to our players, our student athletes, number one. We're chipping away every single day uh, at the schedule. Uh, we're constantly, obviously, on, on the phones, on social media, uh, trying to get as many updates. We, we spend, you know, probably an hour or so a day, hour or two, maybe a day right now. And I think once we get that start date, that'll, you know, for the next couple of weeks, that'll really pick up in terms of how we want to structure and organize our non-conference schedule. And then, you know, we haven't addressed the Valley schedule and what that will look like moving forward after January 1st. Um, but I think it's with everything during this pandemic. You have to be flexible. You can't get too high, you can't get too low. You got to control what you can and, and kind of make the best decisions with the information you have at that present time. You know, I think for this year, I would say hold off another week or two. Uh, you know, I, I think there's going to be an announcement coming up, um, you know, by early as next week that will give us more of a timetable in terms of when our season will start. And then that will give them some direction moving forward. I believe from the Valley, you know, to, you know, play a, a typical uh, Valley schedule, you know, Arch Madness down in St. Louis. And, you know, I, I, I do believe the NCAA tournament is going to happen. I believe Arch Madness is going to happen in St. Louis. Um, you know, I think, you know, everyone is working together in college basketball right now to preserve this season and make sure that it's the best experience for the student athletes that they can possibly have. As one of the Saluki's four incoming freshmen, Kyler Filowich is making the jump from high school to college. This week, we follow him for a day in the life as Kyler navigates classes and basketball. Hey everybody, this is Kyler Filowich. Um, it's currently 7 a.m. I just woke up and I'm getting ready for my day. On my way to Business 101 from Kellogg Hall to Lawson Hall. About a 10 minute walk, let's get after it. I declared uh, business management as my major. That was more so because coming across the border, I had to declare a major uh, for my F1 form. But I'm looking to stick with that, um, but I'm still not 100% sure. Uh, after that, I get breakfast, um, come back, go on another class online. I haven't taken many online classes. I took uh, one last year, and it's, it's different, really. It takes a while to adjust to it. You always feel like you're missing something, but really, when you just focus on it, and uh, you're checking, checking the online every day. Um, it's really not that bad. So I, I haven't found it too bad so far. It's made it pretty easy um, to get into a routine because instead of having to worry about going to a class and then coming home, I, some of my classes I can really just do them whenever uh, it's best for me to do, uh, which is really good because obviously we have really busy days. So um, being able to do them whenever it works best for me has been really helpful. What's up everybody? Just got done with our lift, now I'm on the way to practice. I usually have a lift first or a, a court time first. And I'll go to the, whichever one comes first and then the other one after that. Our practices have been different. Um, we haven't really gone much as a team with full workouts. We usually go out in small groups and really just do more skill work um, and work on conditioning and that type of stuff. So it's different than what I've been used to in the past, but um, it's really like, I'm starting to get used to it and it's been, it's been really good so far. It's, working with Coach Javon has been really good. He really knows what he's talking about. He knows his stuff. I feel like he always wants to push us. He knows what we need to do better. Um, we're always watching film to see what we can do better. And then I feel like it's really made me a better player so far, even though I haven't been here for too long. Yeah, the work has been going good. I mean, obviously it's difficult. Um, to know, especially since we don't know yet about the season. Um, but we've just been pushing every day, which has been good. Like, we don't really care when the season starts, we're gonna be ready whenever it does. After that, come home, do some homework, really. 
and just relax and then do it all again the next day. Hey everybody, just getting back from the dorms after practice. Just about to shower, do my homework, and get some rest. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. Go Salukis.